Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Leap 2 Predictions. Just a couple of things to update you on before I get going with this week's predictions. One, I am on the road to a thousand subs. I'm over 600 as it stands. Um, can you please help me get to a thousand subs this season, uh, by the end of this season? That was my goal. Um, it'd be a huge, um, you know, big thank you for me if we manage to do that um, come May. The best way to do that is to share my videos as well. So, you know, get sharing. Let's see if we can do it together. Um, the other thing is, I started playing uh, FIFA Division Rivals. Basically, Division Rivals is, just in case you don't know, is you play so many games, you get up to a certain uh, division or so many points, you qualify for what's called the FUD Champions um, Weekend. Um, but just at the minute, I'm starting playing FIFA daily, 1 till 4 UK time. So if you're not doing anything between them hours, please feel free to come along. Um, you know, put you know, put your comments to me, ask me questions if you want, um, and I will answer them while I'm live on air. That was the first one for this week. We've gone, we were just literally finished now. We'll go there, be another one tomorrow. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what to do subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game we're going to kick off with is Bradford versus Crawley. Crawley beating uh. Colchester at home 2-1. Great three points for Crawley. Um, Bradford yet again did get three points against Morecambe 2-1. Same result. Only difference was Bradford was away from home. Um, but great three points for Crawley. Didn't actually see it coming when I predicted that game. Um, Bradford on the other hand, yeah, probably was expecting that result. Um, no disrespect to Morecambe. But great three points for both teams. But as this result goes, I've gone for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Cambridge versus Exeter. Cambridge losing 1 0 away to Salford City. Exeter beating Forest Green 1 0. As I said, at the predictions of that week. Um, it was a top of the table clash. I probably was expecting that any team was going to pull up. I think I went for a draw um, that week prediction. Obviously, if you want to find out, go back and have a look um, after watching this. Um, but I think I went for a draw with that one. But if I did tip it to a certain team, it probably would have been extra tough if I didn't. But if I did, that's the team I'll go towards. Obviously, extra tough being at home as well. Um, you know, Cambridge losing to Salford 1-0 away from home. A bit disappointed from a Cambridge fan, to be honest. Considering Salford ain't been, you know, all that well at the minute. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 3-0 Exeter City win. My next one is Colchester versus Morecambe. Just literally ain't long um, mentioned Colchester losing 2-1. Away to Crawley. Morecambe 2 1 uh, losers at home to Bradford City. Both teams losing on this week on the uh, this weekend just gone. Um but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2 0 Colchester win. My next one is Crew Alexander versus Swindon Town. Swindon Town won all at home with Plymouth. Great point for Swindon Town. Uh, Crew Alexander beating Carlisle away from home 4 2. Um, yeah, probably be, uh, you know, expecting Crew to get the three points in that game. Probably won't expect any scoreline to be quite as high, but uh, it does happen. And that's not the only result that's gone this way. Uh, this weekend, um, you know, great point for Swindon at 
uh, home to Plymouth. Expect him probably a little bit more from Plymouth, but didn't turn up. So as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Crew Alexander win for that one. My next one is Forest Green versus Mansfield. Mansfield beating Oldham Athletic at home 6-1. Yeah, that's not a misprint. Um, you know, great turn up for Mansfield. Must have really deserved that result. Um, coming up that scoreline um, at home to Oldham. Uh, Exeter, uh, Forest Green losing 1 0 to Exeter away from home. Um, you know, this point day for Forest Green, Mansfield are really going to look forward to this game with Forest Green now. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3 1 Forest Green win. My next one is Grimsby Town versus Lake Norian. Late Norian, 3 1 winners over Walsall at home. Great three points for Late Norian. Grimsby Town losing 2 1 away to Stevenage. Great um, three points for Stevenage. Talk more about that when I get down to their fixture. Disappointing day for Grimsby though. Um, but as I said, great three points for Late Norian. They probably will start looking in, you know, the lead to bracket coming the end of the season late morning. I'll be very disappointed if they don't survive um in need to at this early stage anyway. Don't forget we've got a Christmas period coming up which is the busiest time for football in all leagues, uh English leagues anyway. Um but as far as this game goes I'll go for a one nil Grinsby Town win. My next one is Newport County versus Scunthorpe. Scumford beating uh, Northampton Town 3 now at home. Great three points for Scumford. Think about um, Northampton Town to win that one. The Newport County game did get postponed international called ups and they did play Cheltenham. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 4 0 Newport win. My next one is Northampton Town versus Salford City. Salford beating Cambridge 1 0 at home. Northampton Town losing 3 0 away to Scunthorpe. Great three points for um, Salford City. Um, but as I've said on the Cambridge, I expect a bit more from Cambridge, but it didn't happen, so we have to move on. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Northampton Town win. My next one is Oldham Athletic versus Macclesfield. Oldham losing 6-1 away to Mansfield. Macclesfield beating Port Vale 2-1 at home. Great three points from Macclesfield. Disappointing day for Oldham. So I'm just going to give you the result for this one. And I'll go for a 2-0 Macclesfield win. My next one is Plymouth Argyle versus Carlisle United. Carlisle losing 4-2 at home to Crew Alexander. Plymouth 1-0 away to Swindon Town. Disappointing day for Plymouth. Um expected a little bit more from Plymouth. Um Carlo on the other hand, you know, it's probably you know a bit expected. Um but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Plymouth Argyle win. My next one is Port Vale versus Stevenage. Stevenage 2 1 winners at home to Grimsby Town. Uh Port Vale loses 2 1 at home away from home, sorry, against Macclesfield. Great three points for Stevenage. Um, you know, two one winners at home. Um Paul Valley around this point down the office, but you know, it probably Macclesfield at home, I know it been tough for some games this season. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Walsall versus Cheltenham Town. Cheltenham Town game got postponed, as I've uh, said earlier in this video. 
Walsall losing 3 1 away from home against Lake Norian. Um, disappointing day for Walsall. Can't say nothing about Cheltenham because the game got postponed. And that game would really be interesting come when they do eventually go out to the Newport game. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3 1 Cheltenham Town win. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.